The bus driver shortage not just impacting RTD. Some mountain towns are struggling to keep their bus routes running as well. The Summit State Service in Summit County has already had to make some cuts. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Croshaw was there today. Talk to people who rely on that service to get to work. The transit officials up here say that this was not an easy call to make, but one they were forced to do because the drivers they do have working aren't able to keep up with all the overtime in order to keep these later routes running smoothly. I mean, right now I would be screwed. I would just be <laughs> heel toe towards the the next warmest spot, you know, and and order to get to my goal. Mike Bond relies on the summit stage routes to get around the county, to work, to the grocery store. And when he gets off work late, he expects to hop on a bus to get home. But that's about to change. I think it's unfortunate, especially for people who use this as their main source of transportation. We don't really have Ubers and stuff up here, so I think that it's going to definitely affect a lot of people. The summit stage will be cutting late night routes on all of its major lines for the winter. They will also cut back hourly routes to every two hours because of a bus driver shortage. It's something we've reported on extensively over the last year, and it's not just the summit stage. CDOT, the local school district, and even construction crews are short drivers right now. It's definitely going to be a challenge. Transit officials say they're trying to lessen the impacts to riders by targeting low ridership routes and times. County commissioners tell us that because local municipalities are tied to the federal regulations when it comes to drug testing for drivers, a lot of drivers that would like to have jobs here are not qualifying to drive. So they hope that they can look at this issue moving forward and make it a little easier to hire drivers. Reporting in Frisco, Matt Kroschel, covering Colorado First.